Today, I'm going to be breaking down Moving by Omar Lay, where, as usual, I'm going to be talking you through the various elements that I'm picking up on as we go through it. For those of you that are interested, I have put my interpretation of the song meaning down in the description below. So if you want to go ahead, check that out, then by all means, do so. All right, you know the sketch. Headphones on. Let's get into some new music. Okay, right, we're going to pause it there. I know we're pausing it early, but the intro was short and then we went straight into the chorus. So before we cover anything else off, let's talk about the intro. Let's talk about the chorus. All right, so let's kick off with this intro. So first thing to note is it's nice and short, as I've already mentioned. And this is a good thing because it means that we get into that chorus. So the main hook of the track as quickly as possible. But what you'll also notice is that there really isn't a huge amount that's going on in this chorus. We get opened up, we've got some keys in there, we've got what sounds like some guitars come into the mix as well. They're being panned left and right, they've got a nice rhythm to them, and they've also got some effects being applied to them as well. But outside of that and a couple of vocal chants, there really isn't a lot going on. But if you couple that with the fact that it's short, I actually really like it because there's no faffing around. The intro does exactly what it's supposed to do. And then boom, we go over into the meat of the track. Talking about the chorus, so this drops in at around 10 seconds. We do get a transition just before it, so pay attention to that. We've got the percussions, they are firmly in the mix. Really like the snare hits that we get on those, by the way. The first lot drop in at around 14 seconds, so again, just listen out for those. We've got a really nice synth in the mix, that's doing a good job of setting the mood. We've got the log drum in there as well. And what I like about the use of the log drum in this track is it's not being used in the same way that we hear it being used in a lot of other tracks whereby it's, you know, frequent, it's quite exaggerated sometimes, and it's being used to drive rhythm. Here, it only comes in every now and again, but it's enough to stand out and it's enough to catch the ear but it's not at the point where it's driving or taking over the track. And then the final thing is around the vocals, particularly the rhythm of the flow, because what you'll notice is that it's constantly shifting around the word moving. Now, if you consider the mood of the track and you consider the simplistic and repetitive nature of the lyrics, I actually think that this is a good thing because what it means is that instead of you getting variation through content, you actually get variation through rhythm. And what this means is that they can keep the chorus simple without the risk of boring you with a dead hook. So let's go back. Let's listen. Right, keys are in there. Guitars panning left and right. Right, listen to the snare hits that we get. Listen to the rhythm of the chorus. Guitars bang. Uh, 
Okay, right, we're going to pause it there because we've gone over into the verse. So let's talk about the post-chorus and then let's talk about the chorus again because the song structure here uh, is not exactly following a typical format. Now, something that's probably worth noting, especially if you are an aspiring artist or you are an aspiring songwriter, and I've already alluded to it, but it is the song structure because what you'll notice here is that we actually have an intro, we go into the chorus, we then have a post-chorus, and then we go back into the chorus. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, it's nothing new. It's not like it hasn't ever been done before, but equally, whether it be in older music or newer music, it's not something that we commonly hear. So it does serve as a good example that you don't have to follow a particular structure in order for it to work. Another thing to pay attention to here is the fact that Omar Lay actually comes in early. He comes in on the offbeat uh, between beats two and three on the final bar. And the reason why it doesn't sound strange when he comes in is because the final chorus line is actually more of a vocal run rather than what it is a word. So then to come in over the top of that is a lot easier than what it is if it was a word. And that's not to say that it can't be done if it's a word. I'm just highlighting that it's easier to come in over the top of a vocal run than what it is a cluster of words that we typically have within a chorus and then the final thing to pay attention to is the simps you will notice that the simps here they have a stronger presence in this post chorus than what they do in the chorus moving on to the second chorus and there's really only a couple of things to mention here so the first thing those simps they get stripped out and they're replaced by a set of guitars which for me again i think is a banging choice because not only does it give us a break from those simps but it introduces something new into the track whilst at the same time making the chorus much more brighter and rhythmic and then we have the log drum so not significantly more frequent but more frequent nonetheless in this second chorus than what it's been in the track up to this point. So let's go back, let's listen. Right, post chorus coming in. Listen to how early he came in there. Right, second chorus coming in. Simp's gone. Guitar's in there now. Listen to the log drum. More frequent. First bangs. Banging swish up there as well. Okay, right. We are going to pause it there for the last time. We're going to cover off the verse. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to see the rest of the track out. So the first thing to mention here is I really like the fact that they carry that chorus structure over into the first verse. That stripped back feel with the guitars driving the melody, I think does an excellent job of complementing and supporting Omar Lay's vocals because what it does is it places them center stage and it enables us as the listener to fully appreciate the breadth of the vocals from the range through to the flow and how they're filling up all the space in the track. And then the final thing, really like the shift that we get at 114. You've got the kick drum that's providing that steady 4 4 rhythm. You've got the flow that's riding nicely along with that. And then, of course, you've got those perfectly layered vocals. And that's it. Let's go back. Let's listen. Let's see the rest of the track out. Right, first coming in. Chorus structure carried over. 
Listen to how it exposes the vocals. And there's that shift. 4-4 four, four rhythm. Show now. Guitar still in there. Chorus line as well. Okay, that's it for me. If you want to see more breakdown and analysis videos, there'll be things popping up on the screen right now. Other than that, don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I will see you in the next one.